That's it. I blinked. It's gonna look great. You blinked? I blinked. All right, it'll be fine. Okay. You guys expecting someone? Swank, did you get the door? All right. No, this is good. Everything looks great. Let's see. Uh, it's Arthur. Oh, it's Arthur. Sir. I don't even care. It's not. You shut the goddamn dog up. Because I can't talk on the phone with that. Who's Yes. I don't even care. A record company will do that. It's the same thing. It doesn't matter if it's a microfiche or a JPEG or whatever the hell you said before. Get it here so I can look at it because I have to approve it. All right. Yes. I'll pretend you just said thank you. I'll call you later. Okay. Hi, I'm Jack White. I'm Meg White. And we have a band called The White Stripes, and we're about to go on a big tour of Australia and New Zealand next week. As always, we go through this ritual uh, before we leave for tour. Our parents, uh, about ten years ago, signed a contract with this man named Arthur Dotweiler to be our manager. And uh, he's a little bit corny sometimes, but he helps us out uh, here and there when he, where he can. And uh, here's a little look at uh, what we usually go through before we leave for tour. I just want to make sure page. you know that we're not blaming you for anything that you've done, you know, for the band. It's just how how much does this have to do with what we're going to be doing in Australia? So that's all I'm asking. Okay. Let's talk about what we do before the tour, which you guys have followed. Okay? Let's talk about getting enough rest and being rested, eating healthily, right? Making sure you spend time with your friends and family. Um... But, so anyways, we're talking about exercise, we're talking about rest, and we're talking about nutrition. Jack, let's talk about vocal cords. Let's talk about doing some exercises, some breathing exercises. Arthur, I told, every time you bring that up, I tell you that if I force myself to do something in particular, such as singing well, I'm going to fail at it. You know I'm, I fail at everything I try to do well. If I just leave it the way it's going to be, Arthur, leave it. If I just leave it the way that, I, you know, it is right, right now. So anyway, right, I, exactly. So anyway, with the vocal cords, you've got to make sure you're doing the exercises every morning, okay? When you're going on stage, you have to make sure your voice is warmed up. It doesn't have to be scales. It does not have to be... It can be a Beatles song. Check... Check one, check, check one, two, check, check one, two, check, check one, two, check. Mm -mm, mm -mm. When you guys hit, have it mapped out. No, if you hit it, if you hit at 10:20, start warming up. Say, I'm gonna start warming up my vocal cords at this time. Megan, it's the same thing. You're not singing that much, so I don't, I'm not even, I'm not even going to ask you to, to warm up your chords, okay? Because you've got a better natural singing technique than Jack does, okay? You've got more of the natural gift, okay? As far as your little hands, though, we can't be dropping the drumsticks. And this is just going to teach you a little lesson from Uncle Arthur, okay? I, I really don't, you know, Arthur, I really don't think this is the way to... To do this. I know. There's a lot of things you didn't think about, right? There's a lot of things about practicing. You didn't think we needed to practice, but we practiced. Okay, try it. Try to throw it at me. Really, try to throw it at me. It's All not right. going anywhere, is it? Let's go. Practice. One, two, three. I'm not dropping my thing. Good. You know, Arthur, this is cutting off my circulation. That should. It'll hurt. And next time you think about dropping a stick, you'll remember that and you'll say, I don't want to go no, through this. It's really just hurting my hand now. Is your hand asleep? No, it's... Then you're fine okay. to do that. And you're also going to want to bring a razor. Both of you are going to want to bring a razor for your legs and for your for shaving your face. An extra bar of soap. Sounds like a silly thing. It's a good thing when you want an extra bar of soap and you think, oh, geez, look how late it is. The store is not open. I got an extra bar of soap. Okay? Okay, where's your razor? Right here. Okay, go ahead, start shaving. Let me see what you're doing. All those pictures from the last tour look like hell because you had red under here. Yeah, well, Why are you going down? Well, go need... up. Up with the razor. Yeah, but if I go up... Nice to meet you. Up with the razor. It'll break out if I go up. What will break out? My skin will break out if I go up. That's what it was doing in all those pictures. That's why you look like such a jackass in the other pictures, because you're probably shaving down. 
Shave up. No, that's what makes my skin break out is if I go up. So why were you shaving up on the last one? No, I shaved then up. Then why was it going, I, that's why I'm saying shave up. No, I'm telling you, if I shave up, that's what gives me the breakout. See, this is the way I do it. Shave going, down there, but up on the throat. No, I go, I go down on the throat. Down on the snout, up on the throat. No, I go down on the, I go down, down on, on everything. Snout. I go down on everything. If I go up, that's going to give me the breakout. That's going to give me the rash if I go up. You just said that the rash gave you, you got a rash when you went down, right? No, I said I got a rash when I go up with the razor. If I go up with it, that's what gives me a breakout. Then why are you going up with it in the first place? I'm not. You're the one saying going up. Because when you went... The, the next thing, I just want to get this. Every time you're going to be leaving a city, you should have everything packed. When you're leaving a venue, have everything packed so it's not at the end of the night after you've had a few cocktails. And I know you guys are doing that, and that's fine. But just know that you're working with your crew to get everything packed up. Then you have the cocktails. Okay, you're done playing, meet and greet, talk to the people. Then you get packed up. Then you have the cocktails. And then you're ready to go. Are you ready to go for the tour? We're leaving tomorrow. Do, if I go upstairs, if we go upstairs right now, am I going to find everything packed and ready? I want you to be honest with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much yeah. packed and ready. Yeah. Packed and ready, would you yeah. say? Say it then. Packed and ready. Packed and look ready. me in the packed eye. And packed, packed, packed and ready. And ready. Let's go take a look. Yeah, let's go take a look. And there's no handrail here either, Jackie. We gotta get somebody to come over. Can't you get your brother to come over? I, I said I'm gonna get it taken care of, Arthur. It's, it's hard to get up these stairs. What the hell is this? What the bejesus did we just talk about with packed and ready? This is not packed and ready. We're getting it. We're gonna get it together. We're just, this is not. Oh my. Most of this stuff can be packed up in like a few minutes. I mean, my guitars just go right in the cases. This go ahead. Let's see you do it. Oh, my cases are in the closet. Oh. It's a red suitcase. You guys are red and white. That's a smart thing, but where are the red and white clothes? I don't put them in this bag, I put them in my other bag. This is, this is the clothes. What are, where are you going to be wearing all this? You're not representing the band if you go out in a yellow shirt. Well, I'm not on stage 24 hours a day. I mean, I but you are in the white stripes 24 hours a day. And I shouldn't have to be standing here wasting my time yelling at you right now. I didn't, ask you, I did, I didn't ask you to tell me how to pack my clothes. See, you're pretty good at this game, huh? Well, you know... Pretty good, I guess. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know about computer games and all that. Well, you know, I mean, if you try them, you might like them, Arthur. You know, I'm gonna miss you guys, right? Well, I know you will, Arthur. We'll be back pretty soon, though. You know. Only three weeks. You days. And you know what I'm saying in there is mainly for Jackie, mm -hmm. because he's stubborn. I, I know. Hard-headed. You know that, right? I know that, yes. And. And the other thing is, I worry about you guys on the road. I worry a lot about you guys. You really worry so much. You know what we're doing. That's like telling somebody not to worry about their dog. Check, check, check one, check, check. Check, check one, check. Check one. Check, check one. I gave in on the cigarettes. What other vices have you developed on the road that Arthur's not aware of? We... Like Thai food, it's fine. Ethnic foods are very good, and they're very, it's good. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. You guys go and you go do a tour in Finland, you eat Finnish food, okay? That makes your host feel like you're acclimating to their plan. Hey, Jackie! Megan! It's Pokemon Macaroni and Cheese! Pokemon Macaroni and Cheese. You're not going to get this in Australia. Okay? You ready for some? Yeah. Ladies first, like I told you. Alright, there. Now this, you guys, will be the last comfort food that you're going to get until you get back from tour. I know, Arthur, I mean, we really don't have time to eat right now because we have to get the gear packed up. Comfort food, Jackie. Megan? Yeah? Do you remember when I used to make this for you when you were a little girl? I remember. Yeah? 